Today, we're going to talk about five things that I think Brawl Stars needs to make it a better game. Actually, a lot more than just that, but we'll break it down into five things. Hope you enjoy. Okay, now before I go into this, I just wanted to say two quick things. First thing is, I just wanted to thank you guys. You guys are awesome. We've got so much support on this channel and it has been incredible. The second thing is that you'll actually notice a theme in today's video. One of the things that I really love about Brawl Stars is how simple it is. Like anybody can pick it up, even if they're not a hardcore gamer, they can just pick up Brawl Stars and play it relatively easily. And while I think that is great, I do feel like the game is lacking in a lot of things that will actually improve the hardcore player's experience. And by hardcore, I'm not talking about like the most skilled or anything like that. I'm talking about the people that are dedicated to the game and that are likely to play it for a long period of time. The things that I would like to talk about in today's video are actually primarily things that will improve the more dedicated player's experience. We're gonna start with the biggest thing that needs to be improved in Brawl Stars, other than teaming and showdown, which I've already talked about that. I don't need to keep talking about that. I'm talking about improvements in the random matchmaking system. Remember when I surveyed 20,000 Brawl Stars players? I was actually blown away at the amount of people that play, that prefer to play with randoms versus playing with actual teammates or friends or bandmates. Clubmates, I always forget that it's called clubs now. I'm so confused. <laughs> Almost half of the responders said that they play with randoms most of the time, whereas 28% said that they actually rarely play with teammates. That blew my mind. I was like, whoa, wait. You're telling me that the best way to play the game strategically is actually form a team and the majority of players actually don't do that? That's not good. Um, and it's not good because the random playing experience is not nearly as good as the formulating a team player experience. That sounds weird. I can see why people do this, okay? It's fast and it's easy. You just jump in there. There's no commitment if you end up finding out that you're playing with teammates that are really not very good. It can get really awkward if you play with teammates from your club and then you find out that they're really not very good and you're like, oh, do I like stay playing with them or do I leave? Like, uh, I don't want to hurt their feelings, but at the same time, they kind of suck. And then there's also that commitment of, I don't want to dedicate the time, like at least 10 minutes or more to justify the time that it took for me to actually formulate a team. So I really do get this. And, but there's a huge reason why playing with randoms is very inferior to teammates. And I'm not talking specifically about skill because I'm a firm believer that it doesn't matter if you're a teammate or if you are a random, <laughs> there you have equal possibility of being good or bad at the game it really comes down to actually being able to formulate a decent team comp for the specific mode and map that you're going to be playing on there's nothing more annoying when you jump into a gem grab match deciding to play bowl on a map that he's good at but you also get paired up with a shelly and a frank and all now all of a sudden your team has no gem carrier and you guys all suck against long-range brawlers so you guys end up losing super bad even though all three of you could be really great players just because you had a really poor team comp because the matchmaking algorithm doesn't take making a well-formed team comp into consideration when putting you guys together. So here is my suggestion to actually fixing this. They could actually split the play button into two parts, quick match and create team. Quick match would be just like the play button is currently right now, where you would be match made with other randoms that just want a quick match and then create team would actually put you in with two other randoms with a similar trophy count as you into a room for 30 seconds for you three to actually select your brawlers. Chat would be limited to pre-made responses to avoid drama or language barriers. You could see the brawlers that your teammates are actually selecting so that you can actually pick brawlers that work well together. And once you hit ready, that would actually lock you in so that you could not change your brawler once the 30 seconds are up. Once everybody hits ready or the 30 seconds are over, your team would go into matchmaking. I actually quit playing playing with randoms a lot of the times, even after we win, <laughs> even though the players might be good, specifically because our team comp is missing something like a gem carrier or the ability to get rid of heavier brawlers on a map where there are a lot of heavy brawlers. This would encourage me to hit the play again button a lot more frequently, even after a loss, because then I would at least know that the comp is good and maybe we just happen to have an unlucky situation. There are other things that I think could be improved for the random matchmaking system, but I absolutely think that this needs to be a high priority for the Brawl Stars dev team. Up next, I would like to recommend adding custom
customizable control placements and sizes. You ever charged up your super, gone into fire it off perfectly so that you guys can take home the victory? And then this happens. <laughs> if you are playing on a device with a larger screen, like me, chances are this happens to you all the time. And oh my gosh, it was so annoying. The second big thing that I think needs to be added into Brawl Stars is a way to customize the size and positions of your joysticks. Here is a picture of the two devices that I play Brawl Stars on the most. On the left is my Razer Phone 2, and on the right is my iPad Pro. The resting position for the Super is in two completely different spots depending on which device I'm using, and that is very frustrating to me. Now I know that not everybody has to switch between multiple devices like I do, but there are so many different screen sizes out there for a myriad of different devices. And there is a huge difference between the size of my giant hands and a 10 year old's. And to me, it only makes sense that we should be able to go into the settings and adjust the size of our joysticks as well as the resting positions of the super joystick so that we can optimize it for our hands and our device. Okay guys, number three for the thing that I want to see most up in Brawl Stars in this next update, more end screen stats. I've seriously wanted to see this since day one of the beta. Like. For real. Here's actually a really cool concept that was created by Spicy Rico that actually visualizes uh, what could be shown. This has actually been suggested a few times and I actually asked the community manager on my first trip to Finland in person and at least back then the reason why they didn't want to make this a, a priority was because they didn't want it to turn into a blaming game or they didn't want to feel pe make people feel bad for doing poorly on a match or anything like that. There was also talk about wanting Brawl Stars to not become too hardcore of a game and I totally get this. They want the game to seem nice and simple and not overwhelming to new players. But for those of us that are hardcore players that will be dedicated fans for a long period of time, this is absolutely something that I would love to be in Brawl Stars. Kills, deaths, damage dealt, damage taken, HP healed. These and several other things are stats that I would love to be able to see at the end of the match so that I could know how well I actually did. The game is actually made to make you feel like you're getting good at the game and that's really great. These types of stats would only reinforce that positive encouragement that you have, especially at the beginning when you're winning a lot more of those matches. Personally, having these types of stats would actually give me a more positive losing experience as well. Especially if I could see, looking at the stats, oh yeah, I held my ground, it really was my teammates that didn't do very well. Okay, cool. <laughs> at least then I don't feel like I'm a terrible player or something like that. And then, on the flip side, if I actually saw that I didn't deal as much damage and that I died more than everybody else on my team, then I would be able to look at that and say, hey, you know what? I screwed up, and that's okay. This type of feedback is so important for this game, especially for helping players know what they need to do to try and improve. Brawl Stars isn't like Clash Royale, where you make one mistake and you know exactly what that one mistake is that made you actually win or lose the match. It's very easy for new players to feel like everything is fine, and then you're losing, and you don't really understand why, because the game is just more complex. Being told that you dealt less damage on the enemy or that you died more after actually helps teach you what you need to do to try and improve. You can immediately take that feedback and actually implement it into your next match. Focus on dodging more. Focus on actually aiming your shots a little bit more. I could seriously talk about the pros of having something like this in the game for, for a long time. Up next, number four, we've got custom profile icons. I actually put this image in a community post a couple of months ago or a month ago or something like that, and the response was immensely positive. Credit to Sector03 for visualizing this awesome idea. I would love it if we could have some more customization on our player icons. I've had Jesse as my profile pick for like ever. I think that I changed it once for the stop the spin mo movement like six months ago, but then I changed it back to Jesse and it's just like, it's just Jesse. I don't know. It's just something I would really love to see in the game. Even more, I would love it if the various parts of this could actually be unlocked through various methods. For example, I think it would be really cool if the frames to these profiles could actually be unlocked once you reach specific trophy milestones. And then maybe the icons and the backgrounds could be unlocked from brawl boxes or by purchasing them in the shop or something like that. And of course, I wish like this, that you could actually change the profile to be a specific skin that you really like that you actually own. Credit to Salty Pacorn for visualizing this idea and yes, I think it's a great idea. Number five, in-game improvements. We're talking about actually in battle and ways to improve the strategic depth that you can experience while you're in battle. First off, 
I wish that we could see the ammo bars of our teammates. Thank you to Too Cool for the World for visualizing this for us. This would be huge in knowing if it was good for you as a team to actually go up for a push. It would also be huge to know if your teammate who's like a piper doesn't have ammo and you need to actually even protect her or wait for a while before you actually go up. There are just so many reasons why this would be a benefit to the hardcore player. Additionally, I wish that the super ring around your teammates actually slowly filled up based off of how close they were to actually unlocking their super. It is a massive strategy for brawlers like Terra or Frank to actually stay one attack away from charging up their super so that they can wait for the perfect moment, charge it up, and then quickly immediately throw it out before people know that the super is up so that they can't actually dodge it. This would actually allow teammates to actually coordinate a push together when it's the right time without having to discuss things over voice chat. Thank you to Nikito for actually visualizing this. This, I would like to see the locations and the health of the pets and spawns and turrets and stuff when they are actually off your screen. This would be huge in helping you locate enemy targets once you're actually coming up from off the screen, you don't know where they are at specifically. And also it would let you know if your turret is actually like close to dying, which is really important. Another thing that I would really love is some sort of a ping system that would actually further improve the communication when you're playing with players that aren't over the phone with you on voice or something like that. This was a much more needed update before back when the game was actually in portrait, but once it switched to landscape, a lot of the, the pings that I was suggesting are no longer necessary because you can actually see the majority of the map when you're playing. But I do certainly think that there are pings that are necessary right now, mainly at least two. Maybe like a red one that says signifies caution, like, hey, steer clear of this area, or hey, there's a bull in that bush, don't walk up, to that, up next to that bush, or check that bush, or whatever, avoid that bush, I saw a bull in there, oh my gosh, why are you walking towards that? You're gone, you lost the gems. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how many times I've been playing a game and I'm like, there's a bull in that bush, and I'm like firing off at the bush, and people don't understand why I'm firing at the bush, they're just kind of like, Hey, maybe he's just checking for a brawler. They don't know that there's actually someone in there. And I don't want to have to be talking with people over voice to tell them there's a bush there. I want to be able to just jump into the match. You know, we're talking about improving the playing experience for the hardcore player that doesn't want to take the time to actually form a team, right? Because that's, that's what we're talking about here. This would be huge. I would also like to see a green, a second ping that is green, meaning like go here to signify that someone needs to go and cover a specific area. Currently players try to show this once again, just by like firing in a specific direction and the teammates have no idea what that means. It's like, and it also wastes ammo, which is not good. Anyway, I could talk about it for a real long time. I just think that there needs to be some sort of a simple ping system put in place so that you can at least signify to stay away from somewhere or to go somewhere. Now it's been about five months since Brawl Stars was released globally and yes, the game is absolutely amazing. These suggestions are not things that I'm saying, hey Brawl Stars sucks. No, no, not at all. Brawl Stars is amazing. I'm loving this game. I'm going to be playing it at least for the next couple of years because it's so great. But there's some things that I want to see added into the game and these are some of them and I really do want to know what you guys think about them as well. Please drop a comment below letting me know the number one thing that you would like to see implemented based off of today's video. I really cannot thank you guys enough. I, uh, like I said at the very beginning, it's been absolutely nuts how many people are, I just love you guys. I am so thankful for all you guys watching my videos and enjoying it. I love nothing more than hearing that you guys love my videos and I don't thank you guys enough. I really don't because without you guys watching my stuff, I could not be doing this full time. So you guys are the MVP. Thank you once again. Make sure you subscribe for future Brawl Stars content. And for now, this is Karastime ticking by. We will see you in the next video.